They say it's not the camera, but the photographer that makes a great image. So what actually happens when you take experienced photographers and give them entry level or outdated gear? Get ready to find out. I'm going head to head with photographers with inexpensive photography equipment that we normally wouldn't use. This is the Budget Photography Gear Shootout. This video is brought to you by Adorama. My name is Vanessa Joy and today I've got this guy you might recognize even with his mask on is Manny Ortiz. You are so close to a million subscribers. I'm, I'm halfway. You're half, no, you're more road. than halfway. It's a long road. It's a long road. <laughs> <laughs> Manny Ortiz, the guy with the beard, the Puerto Rican guy with the beard on YouTube. I do photography tutorials. I want to show you how to shoot. That's basically what I do. And uh, I'm excited to do this cheap gear challenge because with this gear, it doesn't, actually doesn't matter what gear you use. It's all about the lighting. Lighting will bring out the best out of your picture. And I plan on, we got some good lighting stuff here. So here's what we're going to shoot with. Why don't you tell me what you got for gear? So I've got the Sony a6400. The lens is bigger, but don't get it twisted. This is a budget lens, guys, all right? This is a 17 to 70, 2.8, but it's still on the budget side. But it is a static 2.8, which is awesome because my uh, lens of choice is not, which will undoubtedly annoy me as I shoot. I'm using the Canon M50 Mark II, and this is a 50 to 200, 4.5 to 6.3 lens. You know, if you look at like traditional studio photography, F8 is like their magic aperture. I I feel like maybe I'm gonna hover around there anyway just to give myself some stability in the aperture and the light is really what it's all about. I'm gonna mess around shooting with this Speedlight EL100. This is a baby little tiny flash and this 470 EX AI. This is that one where the flash head actually moves itself but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna be modifying with some mag mod stuff which we'll get to in a second and then you want to tell me about your light choices? Customized by Manny Ortiz himself, I customized a MagMod. And I want to use MagMod products because I love hard light. I've been experimenting with hard light lately. I don't need these big modifiers anymore. And I'm going to be using gobos, which you're able to create patterns in your portraits. And patterns of light and the slits of light that I love to do, it adds a lot of drama to the photo. So I'm going to be playing with that. This is a Flashpoint R2, which would definitely be considered more of a budget light. And then this is the Flashpoint Explorer 100. Now, MagMod, we were talking about this before we started, and we're like, MagMod, is that considered budget gear? It's not particularly cheap or inexpensive, not in quality or price, but is less expensive than a lot of other possible options. So that's what we're going with for modifiers. Yeah. Let's take some pictures. Go. Oh. All right. Okay, so you're gonna uh, center off just right there, yeah, perfect. Damn, when I said center off, like you moved into the perfect spot. And I gave like ter terrible direction right there. Here's how we'll do this. Each of us will take a turn photographing with our entry level gear that we normally wouldn't shoot with. Then we'll take a look at all of the photos, compare them, pick our favorites, and then let you decide which okay. one wins. Yeah, give me some intensity there. Let me see one, two, three. Three. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, yeah, one, two, three. Good. Oh, these are fire. Okay, this, the light's perfect. Vanessa, the light a little bit to the right. Right there. Good. Good. For this one, I want you to just like mess with the hair, all right? Yeah, just have a little fun. Good. Both hands, both hands in the, in the hair. I like that. I want you to put your uh, back, to the, back to the wall. And now you're going to look at that mirror over there. Just, you wanna just aim it as to like to fill some of the ambient light. So I would, yeah, aim it up, yeah. Yep, this is perfect, focus on this. Don't focus on how, pressure's off me. Pressure's, yes, pressure's on her. All right. No, aim it at that wall over there. Aim it at the corner wall, okay? One, two, three. Okay, that's that's perfect. Now I want to do yeah, with some intensity. All right, here we go. Aim it down, the the second light, your left hand, right there. One, two, three, a couple more. Wait, right there. Uh, eyes eyes closed. Maybe both hands. Yep, exactly. I love how you shift. Perfect. Right. There. Now drop your right hand. Right there. The last one. Now we'll go to the slit. So I want it like this. So I want it to be where it starts up here and I want it to meet her and cross her eyes. But I want it to be more on that side because I'm going to compose it where it's like Phil. You can see it now, right? No, I can see it when it's 
turn the flash power just a tad to 1 8. Let's see what we got. I think we're good there. Five figure go to poses. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Wait. All right, cool. I killed the recycle time for Vanessa. Yes. Yes. Okay. So you're going to come a bunch closer. Okay. Now I'm going to just change my white balance. The problem with this is like anytime you want to go in and change something, it's like six different clicks to get to where you want to be. Okay. Yes. Yes, this looks fun. Perfect. Okay. Man, that is a you're long you're recycle to, time. Yeah, you're gonna have to shoot a little slower, I think. Like soup, there it is. I gotta look at the red light and then I'm allowed to shoot. <laughs> Hold that. And one, two, three. Oh, but I love it. It looks so good. And then eyes to me. Okay. Good. Just move your eyes to me and chin down a little bit. Yeah, right there. Hold that and go. Nice. And then do a couple dead onto me there. Yeah, right there. It's pretty. Hold that while we wait for the flash. Nice. But I like that kind of harsh. Should we try also to? On you. Oh yeah, that's great. Like yeah. Holy anamorphic shit. flare from you. Mm-hmm. Nice. Um, my question to you guys is, how's the makeup? Is it like too harsh for you with the lighting, or is? It... I like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I want to do dry. one more look. Because I like this. I'm just going to switch to a wider lens. One more look as in I get to change things. Oh snap, it's versatile. That would be interesting if it does, to be honest. You could just try it on me real quick here. Ooh, that's like cinematic. Like, it running from the cops or like, like some, some crazy like, I don't know. That, yeah, I like the effect. I like the yellow alone, but let's see how this, yeah. Hey, why am I saying this? I'm so, I feel like this is a team effort. I'm just like, pitchy, yeah. pitchy. Hold that while we have the flash. Nice. I think I'm happy with these. Yeah. It's like exactly what I was looking for. <clears throat> Before I let you see these pictures, let me take a second to brag about our sponsor. Adorama isn't just a photography store, it's everything you'll need throughout your photography life. They don't just have both new and used equipment for you to buy or give you one of the easiest ways to sell your old gear. Adorama takes it a step further by providing photographers a wild amount of education through their YouTube channel, Instagram, and 42 West blog. Whatever your photographic needs, Adorama is there helping you create no matter what. All right, let's take a look at these photos. All right, go through yours first. I think yours are better, a little bit better. <laughs> it's, uh, I, well, we're gonna find out. You see these, these spotlight photos are- I love that. Oh, damn, she got swag here. She got a little swag there. Yep, I like that one. Oh, that one's got some drama to it with her hands up. Now these are before we did the fill flash. I kind of like that with the spotlight because it's it's very caught in the headlights type look versus wanting to show off all the texture and stuff that you did when we added the fill flash. Yeah, I th and, and also because you have the texture in the background, right? Mm -hmm. the, it's illuminating texture. It's just not like a plain background. So it, it gives something. It's There's definitely something there. Like I, I really like it. And then these are the ones when I shot from the angle mm -hmm. with just the spotlight, but I was missing, you see how I got the, yeah. I was missing that, mm, that little bit of fill, I think. Okay. Yeah, you see, yeah, these are the dark ones and then these are the, the fill light right here. More texture, so it's perfect. And then the That's slit, the, story. the slit lighting. 
symmetry. Mm -hmm. I wanted to create that symmet symmetrical lines, kind of like what you did, right? In the terms of like the line uh, crossing, uh, crossing the, the image. I like this at the end, how you did that, where it stopped on her. Like light creeping in through like a small crack of a window or something like that, and that's kind of like the vibe. So, um, um, yeah. My disadvantage was obvious because my recycle time was like all those blank shots because I had to get used to the fact that it was just not, it was, it was just hard. I do have some favorites though. I'm not mad about these pictures by any means, but it was, that was the hard part was, okay, and we're just gonna wait 20 seconds. I mean, you look really good here. Look at you. You, I caught you doing something. That's 2021 <laughs> Manny right there. That's about right. I do like if I were to pick some of these favorites. It was it was hard. I really like what we did with the direct flash though. That that ended up being fun. I was like, this might work. This might not work. But it was good. I think hard light has a kind of a bad reputation because I've always oh I need soft light always, but. When you know how to, uh, when you under, when you understand how to use light in general and pro the properties of light, you can get away with using harsh light and make it look flattering. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm digging these. Ooh, okay, all right. I think we got a winner. That is, yeah, easily. So that was without fill. It's really dark. You really can't tell where you're at. Now with the fill light, you can. It looks kind of grungy, warehousey, and. Um, I love it. And it's so funny, you always, not always, but you shoot a lot more full body and I'm always like, let me see your eyes. <laughs> like, I always wanna get like close and in there. Yeah. That's kind of like Miguel. He likes to, sh yeah. you know, he shoot tight portraits. I'm like, man, I like to get like the environment. I yeah. like to get more, but <laughs> that's all makes us different, our styles. All right, so what we're gonna do, you're going to see our two favorite photos, well, his favorite photo and my favorite photo popping up on the screen right now. This is not a competition, this is just for fun, but you can, of course, like you naturally will, vote on your favorites and, you know, tell one of us we suck. <laughs> anyway, you can check out uh, Manny Ortiz here on YouTube, obviously, and of course, hit like, subscribe, ring the bell, all the things. You say all that at the end too, right? Yeah. I try not to. You try not. But all my outros are really awkward, okay. so I just I don't even yeah I don't say anything. I just like see ya, but then I'm like damn like I want to say something cool, but not cookie cutter, well, you know? That's all I got is cookie. Cutter. Yeah, well. And music that YouTube not gonna like. Yeah. <laughs> well, well. Hey, I feel awkward, so it's a Manny ending. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>